So good morning on this very cold, well I say very, depends where you are in the world. It's a nice first, one of the first cold mornings of uh, the winter in Dorset here. Anyway, what we're going to do today in the small workshop, bit of a challenge. I'm making quite a big um, dining room table. So uh, you can, we're going to be, it's going to be out of six by two, PAR, planed all round. So I've got lots of uh, pieces. I've actually cut them up into the relative size. It's a metre and a half square. So that the challenge is to do it in my small workshop. Now I'm going to have to work in outside spaces as well, but this will be an interesting video because uh, just to see what a small workshop can build. Uh, bearing in mind that physically I actually can't get the table in here and yet I'm going to attempt to build it. So uh, this will be interesting. So fingers crossed that the weather will be at least dry and not rainy. Uh, but follow me on this one and see where we go. All right, enjoy. So here we are outside. I've set everything up. I'm going to start gluing up. So as you can see, that's part of it. The table and I'm going to start doing the gluing process. So I've set some uh, sash clamps up and uh, I've got the glue there. Use tight bond, really, really good grip. Really good uh, for gluing and laminating. So I'm gonna do the laminating of the top at the moment. Uh, I've laid that out, just covering, because there'll be lots of glue drips that I'll need to clean up. So I've got my glue, got my brush, got my water, got my cloth for cleaning. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is, is get it get it glued up so that's the next process Hello people in YouTube world, back at it this morning and it's sunny, still cold, it's here in Dorset but we are carrying on with the table. So you can see that behind me there, chip it forward a little bit. So what I've got to do is just get it, start to plane it down. So I'm just going to use an electric planer. Uh, I'm outside because my workshop is too small and that's because I'm in a small workshop. But anyway, we make, we where there's a problem we solve it so i'm outside here and i'm going to do a little bit of planing uh, get it down and then we start cutting so that's the next part So here we have it roughly sanded, it's been planed, roughly sanded, it's starting to get come up. Now, lots more sanding to do, but that's the uh, bulk of the heavy sanding. Did that on a 40 grit just to get it down, and then we'll start to actually reduce the get, get the higher grit, get it finer, and then we'll start to cut it. Obviously, it still needs cutting, you can see. But essentially, it's getting there. A nice 1.5 meter square table. And there's the seagulls in the background. So for any of you keen enough to hear that, 
you'll then begin to understand that I'm actually not very far from the sea, from the Jurassic Coast. Well, good morning. Back in the shed early because I want to do some more gluing. The weather's a little bit compromised today. A storm is coming. So I'm back inside. So how can I do this? So I can hardly move in here. So I'm just gluing, but look at that. Big table in a small workshop. But it's working. I'm gluing the mitres. Decided to do it one at a time because having multiple pieces to deal with in this space was going to be too much. I uh, just wouldn't be able to do it. So patience and I'm gluing. I've got two mitres on. I did one last night and I'm just gluing up. And now I've got one over the back I did last night, which I didn't film. But you can see there is literally no space. I'm crawling under it at the moment, but where there's a will, there's a way. Hello, out there in YouTube land. Um, I'm gonna glue up the last piece. My sash cramps are over there. Some nice big chunky ones. So we're gonna get gluing. you can see tight bond stronger than wood itself so the manufacturers claim it's pretty strong it's definitely stronger than me the older I get the weaker I get but I guess some of you can uh, relate to that Make sure I cover everything, get a nice spread. Put a bit more on just for good measure. I want to get a really good fix. All right, let's put up those mitres. Final piece, we've mitered all the way around. So all that's now is just some cleaning up, take some of the excess glue, wipe it up. And that is looking good. So there we have it. It's glued up. You have to be a bit of a contortionist in here. And as I've got uh, arthritis, it's not the, uh, the easiest thing to do. But where there's a problem, we overcome it. We think and we overcome it. So, absolutely amazing. Really pleased with that. Tight bond. Stronger than wood. Well, good morning and uh, welcome again. On another morning, I had a busy weekend and I'm back 
with the big build of the table. So it's there behind me. I'm going to do some sanding, get it actually now nice and get start doing the finishing sanding. We'll get it close. So that's what we're doing. We've done the, the uh, mitering around the, uh, the edges. So uh, there it is. And if I spin the camera round, and you can see, there we go, a bit shaky. And uh, we're going to be doing, doing some sanding. So here we go. It's cold! Well, maybe it's not as cold as where you are, or maybe you're somewhere in the world where it is beautifully warm. But anyway, enough of that. Enough of my comfort. Um, making the base, I've recycled the original legs from the original table. So I've taken out and I'm going to make some new components to go with it. I'm going to tenon them and we're gonna make everything, those parts new. But these are actually really gorgeous legs. They're oak, uh, but they are gonna be repainted. So uh, it doesn't matter that I'm making oak and pine because they're gonna be painted. So uh, that's the customer's uh, wish. And uh, the customer's wish is most of the time correct. So brilliant. That's what this bit part of the video is. So we're going to mark out the tenons. So we have one here, so I know what I've got to do. So I'm going to just do the marking. Got an old one, which we can use as a template. We can use as a jig. So that makes life quite easy. Cheers.
So I've decided to, uh, in this, uh, just been was going to use a bandsaw, but the bandsaw isn't quite, the throat isn't quite big enough to cut the tenons on. So I'm going to cut the tenons on the table saw using the sled. So that's been a little bit working out. Started to set the bandsaw up to do it, but the throat is just a couple of mil, actually not big enough. So here we go.
Hello, back again on another morning. It's been over a week. Uh, this has been ongoing amongst other jobs that I'm doing, other other f videos that I'm filming that will come out soon. There's the table base that's starting to come together. See the legs. And uh, for those of you astute enough to see that that's two different wood types, it's being painted and uh, the customer has stipulated that that's okay and it keeps the cost down. So I've got to make the bottom parts of it. I'm going to go across the diagonal this for these and cut them in and glue them. So there we go. There we go, taking up all the space. There's the actual tabletop, just sitting there nicely. Uh, and some other stuff that's going on in here. And there we go. So what we're gonna do is uh, get the table saw out. Wheel it in, wheel it out. And that's the thing about this space. Everything has to have a place to live. And it is a compromise, but compromises, well, sometimes actually, let's just be honest, they're quite hassle, but it's just the way we get over it. So, table saw's gonna come out. I'm gonna rip the next components out of this uh, six by two. And we're gonna make the, uh, the diagonal cross the diagonal cross parts for the uh, table legs. Awesome. It's not difficult. I've made it so it runs in smooth, in, out. So actually it doesn't take any time at all. So saying it was a compromise, well it is, but because we'd all love to have a really big workshop, wouldn't we? Maybe, or maybe there's, we love to have small workshops. And most of us out there have got small workshops. I have worked in big workshops in the past, but I have to say, I am loving being in a small space. I do actually say, no stress allowed in here. Maybe I have some of my own stress in my head, but can't bring it in. If you've got stress, it stays out, outside the door, and in here is a pleasant space, a happy space, a space to make amazing things, maybe even complicated things. going to show you I'm going to take the camera off and show you my uh, gated uh, on, on the swivel there that actually becomes my sec my person behind the table saw when you're working on your own which most of the time I am so then I can put it through and that acts as a a uh, an extra you know someone to hold the timber or it stops it dropping more importantly as it goes off and because there's none behind it drops fast so I'm going to show you that Okay, so there we have it. It says try not to shake the camera too much. Um, let's try and put that there so we can see. So you can see that comes in, it goes away, and then it comes out. And excuse the shakiness, this is terrible, terrible filming camera work. And when you put it through, it's just actually get it down level and it goes through and I can position this where I want so that's a quite nice bit of kit.
yeah pretty pleased with that <coughs> um i've got to rebate them in together just come back here there they are i'll rebate them in so they uh fit and snug nice together Pleased with that, that will clean up nicely. A really nice tight fit, so that's cut in nicely. Yeah, that'll clean up perfect, nice and snug. So, we like joints, that's joinery, nice little mess on the bench, on the floor, but that's satisfying when a joint goes absolutely snug like a glove. Perfect. near the end now it's a nice place to be when you've done a big build now we're gonna apply some wax polish so I'm just using this one nice quality beeswax and I'm gonna give it a lovely finish a couple of coats let it settle buff it up to a really nice shine
this was the big build. It challenged me more in the physical space and I've had to do some of it as you can see as you've noticed on the video outside but this was a challenge and I thought and I had a few thought can I do this can't I do this not that I don't know how to make a table but it was in what we've got there a small workshop but yes I've achieved it done very happy and uh, it will go to the customer hopefully later today and uh, so that's this video the big build building a big dining room table in a small workshop um, if you've liked the video please subscribe and uh, comments brilliant um, uh, love to get to know some of the uh, community out there on YouTube and uh, we'll see where it goes and uh, watch out for some more videos that are coming your way here at the Small Workshop Adventures.